City Council will be meeting this Thursday morning, and among the topics discussed will be the possibility of new pedestrian sidewalks on two heavily traveled Abilene streets. KRBC's Noel McKinney walks us through what the city is considering. From point A to point B, the Abilene streets will do the job. That is, of course, if you're in a car. Take, for example, Old Anson Road. We know a large number of individuals that travel that particular route because if you go out there today, you'll see a beaten down path. Trails like this can be found for miles. Director of Abilene Public Works Greg McGaffrey says a grant from the Texas Department of Transportation could fix that. It's a good program if you have the right projects and, and we think these are very good projects. Under this transportation alternative program, TxDOT would provide 80% of the funds needed to build a five foot wide sidewalk from Pioneer to Barrow on South 14th and from West Stamford Street to Ambler on Old Anson Road. City would match the other 20% as well as provide the design services for both projects. Money that would come from the unused 2015 street improvement bond proceeds that were earmarked for sidewalks. And we're looking at basically trying to make that few hundred thousand dollars into a couple million dollars. Walking down South 14th, the need for a sidewalk is clear. After all, no one wants to pack two pairs of shoes just to get to the bus stop. When we get in climate weather, individuals have a tendency then to start walking in the street and that's not a a safe condition for anybody. If approved and selected by TxDOT, construction should begin in early 2022, connecting the pedestrians of Abilene with their city. There's a number of those that we want to provide that connectivity and get them out of the street. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. We'll have more on this story as it develops. McCaffrey did say that ADA compliance is playing a heavy role in the design and development of these sidewalks.